Thanks. Uh, thanks very much. Um, I, I, the phone call with, um, with Chancellor Merkel was very much an opportunity uh, to talk through what might happen in different scenarios, to try and work out what might happen next and what we could do in different scenarios. And it was a very uh, good and useful conversation in that sense, and one that we've had uh, more than once and I think we'll have uh, again, no doubt. Uh, we didn't have any detailed discussion on extending Article 50, but uh, we're all aware that that is an option. Um, but ultimately, that request would have to come from uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, and I've no doubt that any request uh, from them would be, uh, would be considered. Um, I think in terms of uh, conversations about Brexit, uh, one thing that I can say about uh, Germany and German politicians uh, is they understand borders and hard borders and partition uh, in a way that perhaps very few other people in the European Union do. And they understand uh, what an enormous challenge and threat uh, Brexit is uh, to Ireland uh, and all that's been achieved in, in the past 20 years. Um, I, I've always said, and I've been saying it for months now, if not years, uh, that we can't avoid a hard border on the island of Ireland uh, simply through words and promises and good intentions. It does require a legally operable and legally binding agreement that aligns customs, uh, rules uh, and market regulations. Uh, that's what the backstop is. It's exactly that, an alignment of customs rules and an alignment of single market regulations so there doesn't have to be a border, no physical infrastructure, no associated uh, checks uh, or controls. And despite what others may say, there is no other proposal on the table at the moment that does that, uh, not one. Uh, people who are opposed to the backstop and at the same time say that they don't want a hard border uh, on the island of Ireland, the best they can come up with is a promise that will never happen, uh, or a promise that she will sort it out over the next two years. And that's not acceptable. Uh, the Irish government, and I don't think anyone in this House, can accept that. Uh, the backstop is a legally operable uh, mechanism to avoid a hard border by aligning customs uh, and regulations. And uh, nothing else is being proposed by anyone else that does that, other than the promise to come up with something in a year or two or three. And that's not something uh, that the government can accept, and that's why we have to hold uh, so firmly um, to our position uh, on the backstop. Uh, in terms of what would happen in a no-deal scenario, um, it's always a difficult thing to speculate about. Uh, if we end up in a few weeks' time in a scenario where the United Kingdom leaves the European Union without a deal, um, then we have uh, a real dilemma, uh, because uh, in Ireland um, we're part of the European Union uh, and we have obligations to protect the single market, uh, the United Kingdom will have joined the World Trade Organization. Uh, they'll have obligations uh, to implement WTO rules. And both the UK and Ireland will have an obligation to honour the Good Friday Agreement, uh, protect the peace process, and honour our commitment to the people of Ireland and Northern Ireland that there won't be a hard border. So what would we have to do in that scenario? We'd have to negotiate an agreement on customs and regulations uh, that meant uh, full alignment, uh, so there would be no hard border. We already have that agreement, and that is the backstop. Uh, so nobody who's opposed to the backstop can credibly say that they are also against a hard border, unless they can come up with something else uh, that aligns customs and aligns regulations and allows a border to be, to, to be avoided. And nobody else has done that yet. There's a reason why it took a year and a half or two years to negotiate uh, this backstop, uh, because it's hard to do. Uh, and we've done that. Uh, and we can't give that up uh, in return for a promise that will be all right on the night, uh, or a commitment just to sort it out over the next two years. It took us 18 months to sort it out. We have a proposal, it does work, and we have to stand by it. We now move on.